couldn't do it without my husband and I couldn't do it without anybody else except for him. Just because they sleep in separate bedrooms doesn't mean that Cameron Diaz and Benji Madden don't have an inspiring love and family life when it comes to celebrity couples. In fact, with a gorgeous main mansion located in the heart of Beverly Hills, as well as other properties to choose from in Montecito and more, the pair can have their personal space or together time when and where they choose. Cameron and Benji live together with their daughter in their stunning $14.7 million estate, which boasts a handful of family size living spaces and other features, including a guest house. Today we'll take an exclusive look inside this property, as well as a couple of their other celebrity homes. Hey everyone, it's Kara, and if you want to see more of what I've been up to in my free time, check out my new DIY account, Fix It With Kara. I would love to connect with you guys over there. Before we jump into their gorgeous properties, let's talk about the enchanting love story of Hollywood sweetheart Cameron Diaz and Good Charlotte's rock star Benji Madden. Our story begins in 2014 when the bubbly Charlie's Angels star met the tattooed rocker with a heart of gold. It may have been a couple that nobody suspected, but sparks flew instantly and the chemistry between Cameron and Benji was undeniable. Diaz and Madden had been in similar social circles before and they knew one another as celebrities but they officially met at a party hosted by Diaz at her own house. This was when he attended with her friends Nicole Richie and Joel Madden. Joel said, hey, can my brother come over? Cameron later explained and rest, well, that was history. Once they started dating, the couple took the world by storm. Fast forward to January 5th, 2015 when Cameron and Benji tied the knot in an intimate ceremony at their Beverly Hills home. The star-studded event was a reflection of their unique personalities, blending glamour with a touch of rock and roll. These days, they share a daughter, Radix, who they welcomed in 2019. Now, let's step into their charming abode nestled in the heart of Beverly Hills. The Diaz Madden residence is a true reflection of their respective tastes. After living at her other property in the Coldwater Canyon neighborhood of Beverly Hills for a decade that she bought off of actress Candace Bergen, Cameron Diaz upgraded her living situation in 2020. She and Benji moved into a mansion in a different area of Beverly Hills, Beverly Hills Post Office. Here, some of their neighbors include other celebrities like Vin Diesel, Gene Simmons, John Mayer, and more. The actress and her rocker husband paid nearly $14.7 million for the crib, which is hidden and private behind an imposing gate and detached gatehouse, perfect for full-time security. The property spans 1.7 acres and entails a compound-style setup with a sprawling main house and a separate guest house, both of which are designed as custom architecture farmhouses. Furthermore, this property is designed by a and Signature Collections, a developer who sold plenty of ultra luxe homes to famous folks like Kylie Jenner, Demi Lovato, and more. Built in 2020, brand new for Cameron at the time of purchase, the mansion boasts just under 9,300 square feet of space. A long driveway leads past the gatehouse to the motor court and three-car garage, then to the main house, which is decked out in gray stucco with a metal roof. Inside, you'll find seven bedrooms and 10 bathrooms, along with open plan living spaces and neutral and warm interiors. Seven bedrooms means there are more than enough options for Cameron and Benji to each have their own bedroom and even more to share if they want to. The family size living room has double height ceilings, a staircase with upper level gallery and a large cozy fireplace. Not to mention it opens right out to the gardens via glass doors. In fact, the entire main level has a ton of large windows and stylish glass sliders to help blend the indoor and outdoor spaces. Nearby, there's a bonus stand that follows the same airy color scheme, boasting a vaulted, whitewashed, open beam ceiling, as well as another fireplace. For more formal events or family get-togethers, the dining room comes with a glass-enclosed wine fridge, taking up an entire wall. The designer kitchen is ideal for the couple and their little one, with a huge Eden island as well as upscale appliances and a breakfast area that leads right out to a tree-shaded patio. Other notable rooms in their home include a glamorous media room 
room with French doors to the grounds, as well as a spacious home office. Cameron and Benji's master suite is located upstairs and comes complete with its own lounge area, fireplace, private balcony, and his and hers bathrooms with brass fixtures and a whole lot of sleek marble. Not to mention there are two walk-in closets with custom built-ins for the couple. Now, you gotta wonder which one of them sleeps in this room. I'm gonna guess that it's Cameron. Outside, the grounds of this home are super private and full of mature trees and lush greenery, mixing up grassy lawns and concrete patios. There's a large fire pit back here, as well as other amenities, such as a full outdoor kitchen, and of course, an impressive plunge pool with spa and Baja shelf below a waterfall feature. Cameron still actually owns another longtime property in the exclusive Hidden Valley community, but it appears that one's not her main residence anymore. This three acre spread had an English country style home spanning nearly 5,000 square feet of space, and Cameron also extensively renovated the home in recent years. Among these upgrades, the actress added on a sprawling one level family wing to the home to give it even more space. Now, let's check out one of the couple's getaway properties. In May 2022, it was reported that Cam and Benji had added on to their already impressive real estate portfolio, this time with a property in Montecito, California. Cameron dropped $12.67 million for this recently remodeled estate that's said to boast traditional Mediterranean architecture with contemporary refinement. Located in the Oceanside town, Montecito is set in Santa Barbara County, between the mountains and the Pacific Ocean. And it's a much favored location among celebs. More specifically, the couple's home here is in the ultra-exclusive guard-gated Ennisbrook Enclave, and of course, the 1.77 acre property is gated for more security. The main villa on the property is definitely the main attraction, spanning 10,823 square feet on the inside with six beds, seven full baths, and three half. Not only does the structure sit high up on the sole property, the position also gives the home amazing views of the water. Walking into Cam and Benji's getaway pad, the foyer is a light-filled space with soaring ceilings, white walls, a grand curved staircase, and elegant chandelier. Nearby spaces also offer high ceilings, premium finishes, as well as a mix of marble and wide plank wood floors. Other highlights on the main level include an attached pair of living rooms, which each have a fireplace, as well as the chef's kitchen designed in a minimalistic style, with rich blue cabinets, a sleek waterfall island with snack bar seats and expensive appliances. There's also a formal dining room with classy green walls, an oversized pantry, and a romantic terrace with sunset views. The mansion's handful of ensuite bedrooms include a deluxe junior suite on the main level, while Cameron's master bedroom is tucked away on the upper floor. The owner's suite boasts a sitting room with chateau-style fireplace, two spa-style bathrooms, two massive walk-in closets, and a balcony with views of the ocean. Other features throughout the estate include a large home office with fireplace painted in a relaxing shade of green, a spa treatment room, and a state-of-the-art home theater. Two curved staircases lead out from the main house down to a lower terrace below, where you'll also find a fancy poolside cabana that doubles as a guest house with its open-plan living area, fireplace, and a bathroom. Also on the grounds, aside from the stunning pool, there's a waterfall set within boulders, as well as some other low stone walls. There's seasonal plants, mature trees, and raised beds with herbs and veggies also back. When she's not in Los Angeles, Cameron also owns a stunning spot in none other than New York City. The actress has a $9 million unit in Manhattan's Chelsea district, more specifically in the famed Walker Tower. Cameron bought the place around 2013-2014 before she was married to Benji and she's held on to it since. Her luxury apartment spans about 2,400 square feet of space in the converted 1929 building and also boasts 360 degree views of the city with three beds and 3.5 baths. Her longtime pre-war apartment formerly had an all-white and slightly nautical theme, but Diaz felt it needed a pop of color. When she decided to give her apartment a makeover, she turned to Kelly Wurstler, the queen of Hollywood glam from the West Coast. 
Cameron wanted her Manhattan home to feel cozy while still having a Hollywood flair. And she and Kelly instantly connected over their love for sparkly, shiny things and a desire to strike the perfect mix of glam and comfort. The color palette chosen for Diaz's apartment reflects her personality, naturally sexy without being overly flashy. Metals and minerals like malachite, onyx, rose gold, silver, and copper fill the space. In the formal seating area, a custom-made parchment and brass table takes center stage, and there's also a vintage chandelier. Over in the actress's kitchen, which she claims is her favorite daytime spa in the house, there's a bold blue wood floor as well as brass countertops and fittings. Diaz can later unwind in the living room where there's custom rose petal color wallpaper and mirrored walls. A room which Cameron describes as, it's a bit like living in a silk lined jewelry box. All residences in the tower are said to have soaring ceilings as well as large tilt and turn windows. Further highlights of the Manhattan condo include a handful of private terraces attached to the living spaces, perfect for soaking up the epic views of the Statue of Liberty and Freedom Tower. There are also heated oak floors throughout, marble bathrooms with steam showers and heated towel racks, as well as a smart home system. Not to mention, even her master suite offers jaw-dropping southeast views. Residents at this building also pay a few thousand per month to enjoy the amenities, which include a 24-hour doorman and concierge, library lounge with bar and pantry, fitness center with yoga room, sauna, and rooftop deck with dining area. That's gonna bring today's house tour to a close, but before we wrap up, answer this question for me. If you were able to hire an interior designer for your entire home, what themes or styles would you ask them to decorate with? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications so you never miss a video. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all in another one. Bye!